The Blue Heeler, also known as the Australian Cattle Dog, is a unique, beloved breed of dog. Unfortunately, there are some misconceptions and myths about these amazing pups that we're going to debunk today. Like, are Blue Heelers aggressive? Are they only good for herding? Do they make good family dogs? We'll find out the answers and whether this is a myth or truth in today's video. Let's get started. Myth number one, Blue Heelers are aggressive. This couldn't be further from the truth. Blue Heelers are loyal and protective of their family, but they are not inherently aggressive. With proper socialization and training, Blue Heelers can make wonderful family pets. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you socialize and exercise your Blue Heeler. If you do this, they'll fit right in with the family. They'll be protective and a little weary of strangers, but they won't be a problem. Myth number two, Blue Heelers are only good for herding. While it's true that Blue Heelers were originally bred for herding cattle, they are also great at agility training, obedience, and even search and rescue. These dogs are versatile and can excel in many different activities. They can do this thanks to their intelligence. This dog is incredibly smart, so whatever you want your Blue Heeler to do, they can do it, and they can do more than just herding. Myth number three, Blue Heelers don't get along with other pets. This is not necessarily true. Blue Heelers can coexist peacefully with other pets, including cats and other dogs. But again, proper socialization and training is key. You need to socialize this dog early and often. Take them everywhere, everywhere with you. And that won't be hard because they want to be with you as much as possible. So if you get them around other people, cats, kids, early in life, they will be great. Myth number four, Blue Heelers are too high energy for apartment living. While Blue Heelers do require a lot of exercise and stimulation, they can adapt to apartment living if given opportunities to burn off their energy. With proper training and attention, Blue Heelers can definitely thrive in living in smaller spaces. But it'll be up to you as the owner to give them plenty of opportunities to get out, run, go to dog parks, go on walks. They will need to have a lot of exercise. Myth number five, Blue Heelers don't like water. While some Blue Heelers may not be natural swimmers, many enjoy water activities with their owners. With proper introduction and training to water, Blue Heelers can become great swimmers and have a blast in the water. As long as they're with their owner, they'll do just about anything. And if that means swimming, then you can count this dog in. Myth number six, Blue Heelers are difficult to train. While Blue Heelers can be stubborn and independent, they're also incredibly intelligent and eager to please their owners. With positive reinforcement training methods, Blue Heelers can learn a variety of tricks and commands. And typically, they're only held back by the creativity of their owner. So if you, the owner, can dream it up, your Blue Heeler will do it, and they'll do it in less repetitions than most dogs because they are eager to please you and be around you. So if you can come up with an idea, they will do it. The final myth is that Blue Heelers need a job to be happy. While Blue Heelers were bred for working purposes, they can still be happy and content without a specific job. As long again as they receive enough exercise, mental stimulation, and attention from their owners, Blue Heelers can be just as happy living a more laid back lifestyle. This dog is up for just about anything as long as they're with their owner. So there you have it. Don't believe everything you hear about a Blue Heeler. This is an amazing dog full of love, loyalty, and surprises. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Blue Healer, and we'll see you on the next one.